right okay, now. Okay, so we, we, we didn't do the best homework we could have for, for the GPS points, so that's, that's fail. So we're going by close by where, where we visually inspected from Google Earth that the, that the origin of the Fibonacci spiral that goes through the three Giza pyramids is. The beginning point, which is infinity. There's a, you know, the actual Fibonacci spiral that goes through the three pyramids of Giza. We That's believe it. it's right on this path. It's right on this path. So so we're just yards away from yeah. getting there. We, we don't have the exact GPS points, but we know we're going to be close, and we're just wondering if there'll be some marker, or indication, or void, or, you know, black hole or something. <laughs> There might be a structure. Yeah, well, a, there a is base. a structure, and I've had two people tell me that. We we need to, you know, spend some time here sometime if we can, walking through, you know, finding a different way to get here or something. And not have the pressure that I'm feeling now. Like get back to the horses, you know. And like, yeah, yeah. You know. How far are we on the, the GPS? Very close. Very close. Yeah. You, but you remember that it was across from that one? It should, yeah. I, and I can flip back and forth on the photo. Come on, come on. Matt. Okay, so. Here's my car. So we. Okay, hold, hold, hold. This truck might be it then. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe in a little bit more. Well, let's go look on the other side and see. Let's go vis visually look on the other side. Okay, so there we are pretty much aligned with it. Yeah, but you need to go a little bit south still, though. So, like. so we can go this way if you want and then kind of walk down way. through. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I wonder, like, you know what? You talk about this stuff then? Look it. Yeah. The origin. The origin uh, when you did in high school, it's always the. The X and Y axis come together, boom and boom. Is it possible? That's a bag. I looked at it first, too. Do you think this is about one of this? I'll take, I'll take a GPS mm -hmm. reading. Well, I'll probably lose it because of it. Yeah, show us a little, a little far ahead of it here. So I wonder if, if this is it, Will, in the sense of you have two you know, the origin, when you think of a graph, you're graphing in high school, it's always the connection of the X and Y axis. You've got an axis here. Look at the bird. And the bird, the moment I said that, the bird flew to that. That's amazing. And look where it landed. That bird just flew to you. They never do that. Maybe it's got a nest there. Look at this. Look at it. It's coming right at us. Look at this. Now tell me that's not a sign. When have you ever seen those birds fly to you? Look at this. See, this is... So I wonder if they're leading to the sign because look, this is where I would say, Ryan, take a picture of me like this. This this is an origin. There's a line here and there's a line here. So I took a GPS reading for this spot, which we can look at later. I took a GPS reading for this spot. Now look at this. Film that now. Film that. Film those birds going to me. This has got to be near the origin. I'm going to take a reading of where they are right now. They're leading us to the origin or something. I've never seen anything like this. A bird acting like that near human beings. Those kind of birds. That was pretty incredible. They flew right at us. He, right as I was turning, because I was watching the GPS, yeah. and right as I got on that center point, they glided in and sat right, right there. Right, you know what? I'm going to take a reading of that spot and see if they let us. Because that's what we were saying, like, left of this trail. 
Can you see that structure out there? Can you see where it ends? Like, that's the Sphinx Club, right? Above the wall? I can't quite tell. Maybe when we go back, we'll, we'll, hit, we'll go alongside okay. that wall so and see. Listen. I've only taken two save readings today. There's another Look. one. Just came in. Okay, I've taken two save readings today. The first one was where those two physical points come together and kind of take a picture of that when we get a chance to run it. And then where the birds kind of let us. So, and, and it gives the time, because I, I haven't taken the time to put a name on it. I could go in and punch in a one and it's six or whatever, but. So the two readings I have, the first one is where the lines come together. The second is where you sort of felt the birds. And look at there's triangulating. There's three birds. Look, one, two, three. I'm in the center of the triangle. Look, one, two, three. It's a triangle. It's a triangle. The three birds are sitting in a triangle. Tell me there's not something special going on here right now. That's pretty amazing. Like we are near the, the Fibonacci origin and those birds just form a triangle around us. Oh, I wish I could, I should have taken the pictures so I could get the angle. Look I'm, at this bird, how close it is. I never see, you know what? Here's what it is, stop and think about it. Stop and think about it. I've talked about how this place is magical because there's nobody here. There's people out in the desert. We saw a bunch of people in the desert. There's a bunch of people that live in those complexes over there. These birds are used to not having anybody here. They're like not, they're like, you know, the, the Tarzan movie or something. Like they're not afraid of us because they, they, they live around an area where there's no people. So they don't know like fear. Oh, there's a human. We better get out of here. I mean, sure, they've got a little natural fear, but they're coming right. And, and they're hanging around this spot. We didn't see those birds in other spots. Right here near the origin, these birds flew in and they formed a triangle around us. I think it'd be worth it to just do some circles around here looking for anything that might be like a foundation or yeah, anything. Yeah, why don't we? Because I've got the two points now that we took that we can put on a map later to see exactly where we were and where that is in a relationship. But yeah, you're right, because I've heard from the from uh, the, the belly dancer and from Larry, because Larry was here a long time ago, but the belly dancer told me that there was a structure here, an abandoned structure. Okay, Alpha and Omega, you, you've given us some magical stuff here, Lord. Guide us. Keep guiding. Alpha and Omega, please guide us. Look at, as I said, he's walking toward us. Please guide us. Alpha and Omega. Please guide us. Look at this. This is just amazing. You know, I'm just not used to birds being that close to you and they don't freak out. You know, it's... That must be that they live here and they just are not afraid of people as much because they don't have any negative encounters with them.